Algebra 1, 10.12a, got a word problem reasoning strategy of working backwards. Sometimes we come across a problem that describes a sequence of actions that involve numbers and it gives a result and asks for an original number. Well, a problem like this can be solved by working backwards. So here's a very, very easy version of what I'm talking about. Tala had a box of cookies that she shared with three friends. So that means if there's three friends plus Tala, that's four people, aren't there? She gave six cookies to Emma, five cookies to Bob, three cookies to Dave, and had ten cookies left for herself. So how many were left in the box? Now, yes, I know some of you that are good in math can say, well, let's just add up how many there are, and we'll know the answer. But that's not going to show you what I'm going to try to show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the 10 that she had left for herself. Then we're going to add the 3 that she gave to Dave. So now we have 13. Now we're going to add 13 plus the 5 she gave to Bob. So now we're at 18. See? Bob got 5. Now we're going to add the 6 that Emma got. And 18 plus 6 is 24. So she had 24 cookies in the box. So what we did was we started at the bottom of the word problem where we knew she had 10 left and then slowly worked our way back up to find out the total that were in the box. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to do it with rational numbers. We're going to do it with fractions. And you know rational numbers are fractions and decimals, right? And we're going to use some variables. So here's our problem. Tala had a bowl of jelly beans that she shared with three friends. So now we know it's going to be split between four people, right? The three friends and Tala. She gave one quarter of the jelly beans to Emma. Bob got one third of what was left after that. And then Dave took one sixth of the remainder from after Bob. So now Tala has 30 jelly beans left for herself. How many did she have in the beginning? So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom with the 30 and we're going to Add the one six and then the one third and then the one quarter, and we're going to figure out how many she had in the beginning. Okay? So here's the data in the story. We know that Tala had jelly beans. We know Emma took one fourth, one quarter. We know Bob took one third of what was left after Emma, and Dave took one sixth of what was left after Bob, which left Tala with 30. So now let's work backwards and let's let X, Y, and Z represent the remaining amounts after each person took some, okay? So the first thing we've got is if Dave took one-sixth of the remaining jelly beans, X, then 30 must be five-sixths of X. She had 30 left over for herself after he took the one-sixth, okay? So that means the 30 must be five-sixths. So what was the one-sixth he took? See? If 5 6 x equals 30, then x equals 36. There were 36 jelly beans, jelly beans before Dave took any. See? We have 5 6 x equals 30. We multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the fraction, 6 over 5. That's the 5 6 flipped upside down, isn't it? We get 30 over 30 which is a 1, and we get 180 over 5, which simplifies to 36. See? We multiplied both sides by the reciprocal. All right. So now we know that there were 36. So if x is equal to 36, and Bob took one-third of y, the amount before he took the one-third, that was what was left, then 36 jelly beans must be two-thirds of what was there. So there was an amount of jelly beans, y is going to represent that amount. Bob took one-third, and that left 36. Well, if what was left was 36 after he took a third, then this must be two-thirds. The 36 must be two-thirds, so that means two-thirds y equals 36. So we multiply both sides of two-thirds y equals 36 by the reciprocal, 3 over 2. We get 6 over 6, which is 1y, and we get 108 over 2, and when we simplify it, y equals 54. See? So now we know that before Bob took his one-third, there were 54 there. Well, Emma took one-fourth, and after Emma took her one-fourth, that left the 54. 
So the amount before Emma took any is Z. And after she took her one-fourth, it left three-fourths Z. So now all we have to do is multiply each side of this equation by 4 over 3, the reciprocal of 3 fourths, and we'll see that Z equals 72. So Tala started with 72 jelly beans. See? So if 5, 6 equals 30, to explain this, and I know we've done this in the past, if you want to find out what 5, 6, X equals 30 is, we just multiply both sides of this equal sign by the reciprocal of 5, 6 as 6 over 5. See? That makes 30 over 30, which is really a 1X, our identity property, our invisible 1, right? We don't need to write him, do we? And on this side, we get 180 over 5, and 5 goes into 180 36 times, so we know X is 36, see? Just using the reciprocal. All right, so our next video is going to be 10.12b, and it's going to be another rational equation number word problem, and we're going to work backwards again, and this is kind of a famous one. It's about the rind papyrus, which is an Egyptian papyrus. If you want to link to any of the previous videos that we did with theorems and proofs or the factor theorem and my algebra word problem playlist that has lots of word problems like this in it, you can just click on the link in this description and go right there, okay? All right, so I'm trying not to step on my dogs who are playing underneath my feet. So I'll see you next video. I hope this was helpful, and we'll try working backwards again, okay? And this time we'll have a little history lesson about the Rhine papyrus in it. Bye.